Hello guys and welcome back. We are in Orton Taig and we're heading in. So, Win, how'd you know so bleeding much about ale? Have some tawdry tale of misspent youth to tell? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing quite so interesting, my friend. The tranquil mages of the circle just happen to be alchemical miracle workers, and they brew more than just potions. There was always a pitcher or two of fine ale at our supper table. Well, bless my britches. Maybe when all of this is done, I'll chat up one or two of them quiet mages. Uh, tranquil. Tranquil, quiet, insipid. Eh, same difference. Excuse me. <clears throat> Oops. That was it? Okay. It shall be done. you say I shall do it All right. That's here Oh, uh, nothing because you stood in the no way. <laughs> I swear they do that on purpose. Very well. For food, is she? As you can tell, I have a sicky at home here. Very well. Or at least we think we're sicky. <laughs> the look I just got. <laughs> I do not want to try any of that, no. Because I don't. Okay. I'm not sure which ones we read. Um, I do know we're going to pick up uh, another 
uh, Kodax entry for this one and we'll just read them all together. I know I read the first one but I can't remember to save my life right now which one I did read and when I did not read. So we'll just come back to that. More spiders. I'd rather take on spiders than snakes, Caitlin. But then again... <laughs> but then again, I, mean, I don't like spiders uh, more than snakes, but it's a bit of a Now, real life ones, probably not. Did you clean that carpet? No, because I didn't know the spider. <laughs> the conversations you have with your kids. Uh, anyway, let's continue. Begun. Would you give one piece of Just crust? <sighs> because you know they're not spoiled enough. No, beginning to understand the scope of their loss. No, I don't think I've ever been here before. I'm, uh, I'm overwhelmed. I, I need a, a moment of silence. Oh, it's so classy, Argrin. Wow. Keridin's Journal, 940, 45th day, 5 
or fifth year of the reign of King Valtor. I have done it. The vision the ancestors gave me has come to fruition. Today, a man set up from my forge, a man of living stone and steel. I called him Gollum, for the legend of those great statues emanated by the dead. They are our future and our salvation. 940, 60th day, 5th year of reign King, of King Baltar. It is a horrific process. Not every man could do such a thing and survive with his mind intact. I am honored that the ancestors believe I have the strength to bear this burden and forge Orzammar's defenders. Nothing so great may be achieved without sacrifice, nor may the stone and steel walk without a spirit to animate them. <coughs> Excuse me. 940, 73rd day, 5th year of reign of King Valtor. I asked for volunteers. Some few answered, men of the warrior caste, younger sons with no property, no chance for marriage. They want to defend Orzammar from the horrors of these humans have unleashed. They want to live forever in a body stronger than the finest armor. They do not ask to speak with those who have gone before. I have put off saying this, even in these pages, but I must say it now. My golems will be powered by their deaths. These brave warriors come to me, naked as they were born. I dress them in a skin of armor, so large it makes the burliest look no more than a babe. The anvil, their first and final cradle. We are surrounded by a mile of earth on all sides. No one hears their screams as I pour molten lyrium through their eye holes, the mouths, every joint, and clink into armor. They silence quickly, but the smell lingers, just a trace of blood in the greater stench of hot metal. I must work fast. The armor is mullable now as I shape it with hammer and tongs. It is not long before it moves beneath my hands, withering and twisting with every blow. It speaks again now, a low moan, but I have learned to tune it out. I can afford no error in this craft. There can be no melted slack binding the eyes, nor an, an unwin bit of granite shackling the legs. They groan at my work, but they would they rather be broken, crippled? Those I have spoken to tell me of the pain, but could they see themselves, they would see perfection. From the Journal of Caridon. The altar in front of you, though broken, tingles with energy. Place the body parts on the altar. You have restored that which was cut asunder and revealed my hiding place. Speak your intention. Seek you vengeance or reward. Um, you're free, the creature. Reward me. So be it. You are rewarded, and I shall toy with this realm another day. Yeah, yeah, money, money. All right. Let's see. I read that. Never saw a theme, but a sword will take care of it. it might not be Elvin. Okay, here we go. Uh, the scratching should be unreadable, but meaning swims in your head as though whispers. The limbs were meat, the torso but a vessel, the head all but none necessary. The heart, separated, keeps life. The heart, safe from the blade, can be restored. The heart waits in the fade. Rough inscription, Arthur Unknown. Okay, and that should take care of that one. So many quests, so little time. Okay. 
Okay. We're going over here. Alright, so we're going back this way here. So we have a few quests over here to take care of. First one right here to our left, and the other one is the gentleman to the right. There it is. Alright, now we just return those to her later. I shall do it. There's nothing for you here. It's mine. I've claimed it. Who are you? What are you doing down here? You've come to take my claim. You surfaces are all alike. Thieving scoundrels! Well, I found it first! Bah! He's a bloody scavenger. Good as sod and gone. Be gone, you! You'll bring the Dark Ones back, you will, and they'll crunch your bones! Word has it you can only survive down here by eating the Darkspawn dead. Uh, Darkspawn is poison. Men have died from drinking it. It, it. it burns when it goes down! It burns! It's my claim, not yours! Crunch your bones! Sorry if I hit my mic. Explodes with energy damage, you know. Nice, okay. So, thrown by at least two enemies. Usability. Do it before anybody walks in from me again. Okay, oh, we're getting more. At least I believe we are. Save. Go away. This is mine. Only I get to plunder its riches. Uh, I just want to talk to you. No, no talking. You leave my territory. Uh, we're going to persuade him. I'm not here to steal anything, I promise. Pretty lady. Pretty eyes, pretty hair. Smells like the steam of burning water. Blue as the deepest rock. So the pretty lady won't take anything from Ruck? You won't take Ruck's shiny worms and pretty rocks? Um, if it's valuable, I might trade you for it. Oh. <coughs> Ruck not mind that, maybe. Um... So your name is Ruck? Ruck not pretty name. Not pretty like Lady. Ruck is small and ugly and twisted. I think I met your mother. Is her name Filda? No, 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 no Filda. No mother, no warm blanket and stew and pillow and soft words. Ruck doesn't deserve good memories. No, 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 no. Um, your mother misses you. She asked me to find you. She, she did not know. Not what I did. I was very, 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 very angry, and, and then someone was dead, and, and they wanted to send Ruck to the mines. If I went to the mines, she, she would know. Everyone would know. So I, 
came here instead. Once you eat, once you takes in the darkness, you not miss the light so much. You know, do you not? Ruck sees. <laughs> yes, he sees the darkness inside you. I'm a Grave Warden, it's not the same. Grey like the stone, guardian against the darkness. Beautiful like waterfalls under the lichen. Oh, uh, you have to tell your mother you're alive. No, 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 she cannot. She remembers a boy, a little boy with bright eyes and a hammer, and she cannot see this. I swear, promise, vow you won't tell. Um, would you rather she thinks you're dead? Yes. Yes! T tell the mother Ruck is dead. He's dead, and his bones are rotting in the crawler's webs, and she should never look again. All right, I'll tell her that you died bravely. Pretty lady is like me, <coughs> yes. Too good, too pretty for the darkness. How can Ruck serve you with thank yous? Here, here, take this. Um, how have you survived here? When the Dark Ones were here, I kept to the shadows. They don't look in the shadows, not if you're quiet. Not if you eat their flesh. Then the Dark Ones think you're one of them. They leave you alone, but now they're gone. Do you know where the, the Dark Ones went? I think they went south, pretty lady. Far, far to the south. That is where the Dark Master calls them with his beautiful voice. <laughs> so much joy when he awoke. Hmm. He's talking about the Archdemon, huh? Yeah. After the Dark Master awoke, he called his children and they all went. I wanted to go too and gaze upon his beauty. Where is the Dark Master now? Uh, now? Do you know? He stopped calling. I wish I could go see him, but Ruck, no, no, Ruck, Ruck is a coward. But there's still giant spiders here, correct? The crawlers. They used to eat the smallest dark ones. Now the crawlers go hungry. Uh, when did you arrive here? Too long ago. I must think. Five years? Six? Ruck no longer remembers the smells and sights of the city. I need to ask you something else. I will answer your questions, pretty lady. Anything you wish. Did you find anything unusual at this camp? Bits of things, but only bits. The crawlers they took almost everything. They, they take things of steel and things of paper. They take the shinies and the words. Paper and words? That sounds like someone was taking notes. Do you think Bronca camped here? They bring to the great nest the nest they make for the eggs. They put the shinies inside they do. Do you have anything to trade? Ruck has some things uh, from the camp. Uh, sometimes the webs. You give him shiny coins, no? Uh, I'm pretty sure I want you to because I don't think you have anything that I want. Uh, I'm going to hold on to that. We're holding on to that. Holding on to that. Holding on to that. I don't care about those. And I keep forgetting that these things load up again. I know this goes to Logan if you have him. Well, well, actually, no. Holy symbol. That must go to Liliana. Okay. Okay, we want to save two of these. We'll probably get more, but we want at least two of those. There you go. And we'll return to her. Looks like that 
bone pickers living in Bronca's old camp. Did you see the marks on the floor? No. There are a lot of people in fires there once. Those must be Bronca's papers he said were taken by the spiders. Nothing that fragile would be left from the tag. As you say, Hagrid. Let's go see if we can find those papers. Shall be done. I shall do it. Somebody got stuck there.
we done? Seems like it. Oh, okay. big fan of negative stuff on people. <sighs> oh my goodness. I d have no clue why I'm yawning. Uh, reaction maybe. That it's a little bit early. Not too much, but you would think I would be used Very to it. Well. Uh, this looks like someone's journal. The cover is battered and torn, but intact. As you leaf through the the skated pages, the text catches your eye. We found evidence today that the Anvil of Void was not built in the Orton Tag. We will go south to the Dead Trenches. The Anvil is somewhere beyond. My soldiers tell, uh, tell me that I am mad, that the trenches are crawling with darkspawn, that we will surely die before we find the anvil, if we find it. I leave this here in case they're right. If I die in the trenches, perhaps someone can yet walk, the, walk past my corpse and retrieve the anvil, for it remains lost. Do, so do we all. I have not returned if I have not returned and Ogren yet lives tell him no what I have to say should be for his ears alone this is my farewell Ronko was thinking about me I knew she still cared <laughs> uh. Uh, strip. Ogren enjoys chal challenging his palate with alcohols of every increasing rar rarity, potency, and outright illicitity. This has afforded him no benefit whatsoever. Old softy. Uh -huh. Looks like the dead trenches is our next stop then. They say the dark spawn nests there, whole herds of them. But if that's where Bronco went, then that's where I'm going. I'm sure. All right, well, that should be it for Orton Tai. Um, we will be back. Um, I like to return to Rock to sell stuff, and we get the uh, another quest that involves coming back here anyway. So. in there okay I didn't see it okay here we go Ooh.
All right. Well, everyone, uh, this is where we're going to end it. Um, and we'll come back for the dead trenches. Have a good one. Bye now.